internet, let's see how well OBS captures a Play-Doh terminal from the 1970s. Press next. Okay. Wow, there are 34 users and it is 9.50 a.m. Pacific. No, it is 7.50 Pacific. 6.50 Pacific. Okay. Type your Cybus name. How about Demo1 if you're available? And your group is Demo and Shift Stop, Shift Control S. And your password, uh, what is that? Take a guess. D-E-M-O. Okay. And we are in Plato. Look at this beautiful orange glow. And you could go through this whole introduction to Plato, which will teach you all about the keyboard. Press next, which is your enter key or control N or option N on a Mac. Very good. And then uh, you learn how to answer prompts. Type in something, okay? Type something, okay? Or anything, okay? And Plato judged my answer correct. And you learn how to erase characters, okay? I'm going to shift control S to stop this lesson. Wow, what power. Now let's take a look at the courses. Let's look by subject. And I want to see what kind of music there is. Well, let's see. Also, pianos or all these topics, composers, intervals, intonation. Now, let's look at intervals. And there is an interval drill, a lesson with help. So let's type one to go into that class from 1977. How warm and cozy this is. Okay, option to select. I could read more information about it. Or I can uh, see the authors. Okay, Kate Rushford Murray, thank you. And lab is control L. And here is my lesson. Characters are loaded. So this is a character set graphical thing. Now let's see the directions. Okay, I have to identify some intervals. Okay, so I'm so impatient here. Uh, for a major third, and uh, you want to see if I can type it correctly. It's uh, capital M. Okay, hit enter, then you type M. Well, that's a minor, so you need shift M3. And next, very good. Okay, what is this interval from a B to an E sharp? B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp. It is major. Well, it's fourth, so it's a perfect fourth. So you type P4. Uh, you type shift P for a capital P4. Sorry, try again. All right, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp. Uh, e, so is augmented fourth. Yeah, so you hit enter to erase that response. A4, yay! Okay, so I could learn all about intervals. E to E flat, that's got to be a diminished octave. So it's D. Uh, okay, type lowercase d. Okay, d8. Good. Okay, so look how beautiful this was. Now shift back, and I'm going to show you a game, but using a different emulator for Plato. Okay, but I recommend everybody just uh, control shift. F. Okay, so explore all these things. Um, yeah, beware, it's not friendly to current people. It, they hung men back in those days of 1977. But uh, there's really cool stuff in here. So um, download p-term. And let's see, can I get about p-term? Yep. Plato Terminal Emulator 2018 by these people who we have to thank for keeping this legacy software alive. So for people who have downloaded Micromate, which is a wonderful Apple emulator, but look at this, you have an Irata online platform by typing R. And it's running an Apple IIe that loads a Play-Doh terminal emulator for the Apple II. This is so beautiful. And we are connecting to Irata online over the internet. 
and it is running a lesson from 1977. So here is your interface, beautiful double low, double high res graphics with a nice prompt for your guest login, guest slash guest user group. So you had a username and a user group, and that's how Plato was organized. And here is your main menu, and you've got all this stuff to play with. And there's a random graphic that changes each time, but I have the whole catalog. And one uh, game that I want to show is in the music category. So let's look for the MUS subject and let us go to the games. So number eight, keys and games. And this is an article mentioned in Creative Computing 1977 where they give you a picture of this key spinner game. And now you know how to find it from 1976. I always like to take a look at further information. One or two students may play this game at a terminal. <laughs> you need a dumb terminal on your uh, Mac, your modern whatever you're running this on. And the authors, I always like to look at that. Peters G. David. Dave, Peter David or David Peter? It's David Peters. Okay, and now let's play the game by pressing the lab key. Now they actually sell real Play-Doh keyboards for people who want everything. So, but if you don't mind pressing Control L, here is your key spinner game. Look how beautiful this is. This would have been orange, but uh, it's double high res. So 1976 running on an emulated Apple II. So if you have uh, FujiNet, you could probably run this on a real Apple II. But let's look at major key signatures, and this was the fun of the game. You have a spinner, and you have to answer as quickly as possible. So press next, which is your return, enter key, or control N, or option N, and start the spinner. Okay, and it's gonna stop somewhere at a random point. And one M, that's one major. So what key is that? Well, you have to know your circle of fifths. So F, C, G, it's G major. And since I delayed, I only got four points. So player one's score is four. Now player two has to go. And he or she or it spins the dreidel and it stops on five sharps. And this person knows it's B major and gets nine points. Okay, and now we press next to spin, and we can play this all day until we go through all the keys, and then we go through the minor keys and do the same thing. So what is seven sharps? Oh, you vault. Is that C sharp or B flat or B, B, C sharp major? And sharp is a plus sign, so you have to you know that. And I got it right. So I get five points, and the game is tied. So have fun playing Key Spinner from 1976.